Hi friends, welcome you back. Uh, <coughs> in the previous videos, we had discussed about the distance formula. The distance formula, how to apply that formula. Next, continuing in coordinate geometry only. The next thing is, we, have, we get one more formula called the section formula. Section formula. Now, what is this section formula? Say, we have a line segment. We have a line segment. One of its end is x1, y1. x1, y1. And the other end is b, x2, y2. So, known, these two are known points. We know the ends of a straight line. Now, I want to divide it in a particular ratio. Particular ratio, given ratio. M1 is to M2. I will call this point as P. This is A. That is B. So, AP is to BP. AP is to BP or PB is equal to M1 is to M2. M1 is to M2. So, this is the given this thing. Now, which point? What are the coordinates of this point which divides this line in the given ratio? Let me call them as x, y. Let me call this point as x, y. It divides the ratio. Divides the given line in the ratio m1 is to m2. This is m1. m1 is to m2. Now, the formula, the uh, relation for x is x will be equal to m1 x2. m1 x2 plus m2 x1 divided by m1 plus m2. This gives me, this formula gives me the x coordinate of the point P, which is to be divided, which this point divides the given line in the given ratio. Then y will be equal to m1 y2 plus n m2 y1 divided by m plus n. Now this formulae together, they are called as the section formulae. Section formulae. Now from this, we can find out uh, x, y, given x1, y1, x2, y2 and m1 and m2. Or if they have given x1, y1, x, y and x2, y2, Using the same formulae, we can find out m1 is to m2. That is, in what ratio the line is getting divided. So, on this again, we will get some problems. Let us see some problems here on that. Uh, <coughs> I have selected some problems. Uh, not from your book. From some other place I have selected. But anyway, it is the same. Where Whatever we do, it is the same. Now, find the coordinates of the point which divides the line joining the points A65 and B34 in the ratio 1 is to 2. That is the problem. The problem is find the coordinates of the point which divides the line giving given uh, divides the line joining the points joining the points joining the points which divides the line joining the points Uh, dividing the line, joining the points A, 6, 5 and B, 3, 4. These are the two ends of the this thing. So, one is X1, Y1 and the other one is X2, Y2. I will take this as X1, Y1 and X2, A2 and the ratio is 1 is to 2. 
that is m1 is to m2 is equal to 1 is to 2 or m1 is 1 m2 is 2 so what is this point x y he is asking so write the equation x is equal to m1 x2 plus m2 x1 divided by m1 plus m2 this is the formula now make the substitution m1 is 1 into x2 3 x2 is 3 plus m2 is 2 into x1 is 6 divided by 1 plus 2 so 1 into 3 is 3 3 plus 2 into 6 is 12 12 divided by 3 so that is 15 by 3 it is divisible so it is 5 so x is 5 now similarly we have to find out y y will be m1 y2 plus m2 y1 divided by m1 plus m2 so m1 is 1 into y2 is 4 plus m2 is 2 into y1 is 5 divided by 1 plus 2 so that will be 4 plus 10 1 into 4 is 4 2 into 5 is 10 divided by 3 that is 14 by 3 it is not divisible so leave it like that only so the point which divides the answer is the answer is 5 comma 14 by 3 this is the point which divides the given line in the ratio 1 is to 2 like that then then one more find the coordinate of the point which divides the line joining the points here it is 4 1 4 1 one point is 4 1 and the other point is 2 3 and the given ratio is 3 is to 2 m1 is to m2 is equal to 3 is to 2 that is m1 is 3 m2 is 2 again the same procedure same this thing we have to follow and you get the answer so x is equal to you write the formula i am not writing m1 3 into x2 i am taking this as x1 y1 this as x2 y2 anything can be taken no problem 3 into x2 is 2 plus 2 into x1 is 4 divided by 3 plus 2 m1 plus m2 that is 6 plus 8 6 plus 8 divided by 5 that is 14 by 5 14 by 5 and y will be 3 into y2 3 plus 2 into y1 is 1 divided by 3 plus 2 this is 3 into 3 is 9 plus 2 divided by 5 that is 11 by 5 so the point required point is x y is 14 by 5 14 by 5 11 by 5 this is the point which divides the line in the given ratio then then one more problem find the ratio here find the ratio find the ratio here you have to find out m1 is to m2 find the ratio in which in which find the ratio in which the line joining 
the line joining joining the points minus two five minus two five and four minus one four minus one is divided is divided by the x axis x axis now here what he is telling is what he is telling is one point is here one point is somewhere here if you join these two it is the line the joining these two points is cut by the x axis it is cut by the x axis in what ratio does the this line get cut at the x axis or by the x axis you have to show now any point on x axis its coordinates will be x zero its y coordinate will be zero any point on the x axis it will be x zero if a point is on the y axis it is zero y if a point is on the y axis its, it's x coordinate is zero if the point is on x axis its y coordinate is zero it has no movement this way no y movement here no x movement so it is x zero so x it is cut by x axis let the let the given line given line cut the x axis cut the x axis at x zero we don't know that x zero now here y is zero y is zero now the formula for y is m1 y2 plus m2 y1 divided by m1 plus m2 this is the formula and we know y y is zero is equal to m1 into y2 i'll take this as x2 y2 and this as x1 y1 m1 into y2 that is minus 1 m1 into minus 1 plus m2 into y1 i don't know m2 into y1 y1 is 5 divided by m1 plus m2 now this will be minus m1 plus 5 m2 will be equal to 0 into m1 plus m2 what i have done is i have transferred this to this side it will come to the numerator i have kept it as it is so when you multiply this by zero they again it will become zero so minus m1 plus m5 m2 is equal to zero again the product is zero or minus m1 is equal to minus 5 m2 so m1 by m2 will be equal to minus 5 divided by minus 1 here 1 is there if nothing is there it is 1 that is 5 by 1 plus 5 by 1 so m1 is to m2 is therefore m1 is to m2 is 1 5 is to 1 therefore the given the line joining these two points is cut by the x-axis in the ratio 5 is to 1 that is 5 parts will be this side and one part will be that side 5 is to 1 that is the meaning of that next next how to find the midpoint of a straight line midpoint of a straight line <clears throat> let us say we have a line segment whose extreme ends the ends of that line segment are x1 y1 and x2 y2 x1 y1 is 1 point and x2 y2 is the other one x2 y2 this is a this is b i want the midpoint of this p is the midpoint now if it is midpoint if p is the midpoint of a b then a p is to b p b or b p is equal to 1 is to 1 
this ratio will be ap will be same as pb if p is the midpoint so i want to find out the midpoint then what we have to do is x is the let us say x is the xy is the midpoint x will be equal to m1 1 into x2 1 into x2 plus 1 into x1 divided by 1 plus 1 m1 is 1 m2 is also 1 so this is nothing but x2 plus x1 divided by 2 or you can write it as x1 plus x2 by 2 that is the x coordinate will be equal to this will be equal to the sum of these two divided by 2 add x1 and x2 whenever you want to find the midpoint of a straight line what we do is we add x1 and x2 and divided by 2 similarly y will be equal to 1 into y2 plus 1 into y1 divided by 1 plus 1 that is again y1 plus y2 divided by 2 so whenever you want to find the midpoint of a straight line add the x coordinates of the two ends divided by 2 add the y coordinates of the ends and divided by 2 you get x and y right this is how it is so we'll do a problem on that find the midpoint find the midpoint of a line joining the points find the midpoint of a line joining the points joining the points 4 3 and 6 7 4 3 is one point 6 7 is another point these are the two ends of a straight line now he wants the midpoint so midpoint will be x will be equal to x1 plus x2 divided by 2 that is 4 plus 6 divided by 2 that is 10 by 2 and that is equal to 5 so y will be y1 plus y2 divided by 2 that is 3 plus 7 divided by 2 that is again 10 by 2 that is 5 5 so therefore midpoint of the given line is midpoint of the given line is 5 5 this is the answer one more find the midpoint of the line joining the points 2 1 and 4 3 2 1 and 4 3 4 again here i will take this as x1 y1 this as x2 y2 uh <coughs> x will be equal to 4 plus 2 divided by 2 and y will be equal to y2 plus y1 or y1 plus y2 3 plus 1 by 2 that is 6 by 2 and y x is 6 by 2 and y is 4 by 2 or x is 3 and y is 2 so the midpoint is 3 2 3 2 is the midpoint of this line joining these two points next in this comes the points of trisection points of trisection to find this is to find midpoint next points uh, points of trisection of a given line segment suppose we have a line we have a straight line whose ends are given as x1 y1 and x2 y2 now that line needs to be trisected trisected means cut it into three equal parts points of trisection points of trisection means cutting a line into three parts three equal parts suppose i have a straight line one end is x1 y1 again at the other end is x2 y2 this is x1 y1 this is x2 y2 this is b i want to divide it into three equal parts so you will get two points here they are called points of trisection one point let me call as p and the other one as q let the coordinates of this be x y and this be x dash y dash q the coordinates of the point q r x dash y dash now the ratio in which they cut is 1 is to 1 is to 1 that is 
AP is equal to B, PB, uh, PQ is equal to QB. They are equal. AP is equal to PQ is equal to QB. Then we say these two points are the points of trisection of this line joining the points AB. Now here we have to use, you have to find out XY first. So to find, first you can find out to find P, X, Y, what we do, we take this as M1 and this as M2. So now M1 will be what? M1 is to M2 will be what? It will be 1 is to 2. M1 is to M2 will be, M1 will be 1, M2 will be 2 and the formula is x is equal to m1 x2 plus m2 x1 divided by m1 plus m2. The same formula. Here the value of m1 and m2 is m1 is 1, m2 is 2. And to get y, what I do is m1 y2 plus m2 y1 divided by m1 plus m2 same thing now for finding q to find q q x dash y dash what we have to do is m1 is to m2 is equal to now this will be 2 and this will be 1 this will be 1 so that will be i have taken there 1 is to 2, now I will take 2 is to 1 and the formula remains the same, x dash is equal to m2 x1, uh, m1 x2 plus m2 x1 divided by m1 plus n1, m1 plus m2 and for y dash the formula is m1 y2 plus m2 y1 divided by m1 plus m2 right the, we have to find it twice the same formula is to be used twice to find two points here we have to find out two points the points of trisection means we have to find two points coordinates of two points therefore it has to be done twice now we will take up one problem here <coughs> One problem I will take up. Find the find the points of trisection of the line joining minus 6, 8. Line joining minus 6, 8. And 4 minus 2. 4 minus 2. So take one of them as x1, y1 and the other one as x2 y2 you have to find points p and q p is let us say x y for finding p what we have to do is m1 is 2 and uh, m2 is 1 2 is to 1 now the formula is x is equal to m1 x2 plus m2 x1 divided by m1 plus m2 this is the formula make substitution m1 is 1 x2 is 4 plus m2 m2 is 1 into x1 minus 6 divided by 1 plus 2 uh, sorry 2 2 plus 1 2 plus 1 that is that will be 4 minus 6 divided by 3 that is minus 2 by 3 that is the x coordinate minus 2 by 3 let us see what is the y coordinate y coordinate will be m1 y2 plus m2 y1 divided by m1 plus m2 that will be 
वन इंटू वाई टू इज माइनस टू प्लस एम वन ये सॉरी एम वन इज वन एम टू इज टू इंटू वाई वन दैट इज एट डिवाइडेड बाई टू प्लस वन दैट इज माइनस टू प्लस सिक्सटीन डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री दैट इज फोर्टीन बाई थ्री सो वन पॉइंट आई गॉट वन पॉइंट इज माइनस टू बाई थ्री फोर्टीन बाई थ्री नाउ सिमिलरली आई हैव टू गेट दी अदर पॉइंट फॉर अदर पॉइंट दिस विल रिमेन एज इट इज एक्स वन वाई वन एक्स टू वाई टू नाउ आई विल चेंज दिस दिस वॉज एम वन वॉज टू I will now make it one, and that was m two is two. That was one. Now I will make it two. Now the formula remains the same. Uh, m one x two. No. M one x two. No, this is two. I think this is two. This is one. It was one is to two. Now it is two is to one. So now the formula remains the same. M one. M one. Two into four. Two into four plus uh, M two. One into minus six. Here it will be one plus two, one plus two. So this will be eight minus six. Eight minus six divided by three. That is two by three. Here it was minus two by three. Now it is plus two by three. Here also the formula remains the same. Make the substitution here. M one, one into Y two one into minus two one into minus two plus two into eight divided by one plus two. No, I think M one Y two. This is not correct. M one two. Into y two minus two plus m two one into y one. That is eight. So now it will be minus four plus eight divided by three. Minus four plus eight by three. That is four by three. So the other point is this is p and q is. Two three two by three, four by three. These are the points of trisection. This is how you have to do it. Okay, I hope you, I hope you have understood it. But we have to practice a number of problems like this. We will continue it in the next video, and then we will move to area of triangles. Thank you.